Hey guys, after many requests, I finally have decided to do the Stormwind with Spinning Propellers tutorial. You heard me right. And there's uh, showing you how it spins, except not. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> yep. Changed it a little bit since you last seen it. This is the guard that helps it so the propeller stays in somewhat control and doesn't completely spin around to kill you or your friends. Virtually. <clears throat> okay, that's a key part right there. Those three poles or bars. That's what keeps it connected so the tow bars work. And with the sucking blows, you have to make sure they're both facing the opposite directions so it spins. Unless you don't want it to spin, but then why are you watching this tutorial? I don't know. Okay, let's get that out of the way here. Just gonna drop it and... Uh, not really the out of the way part. And to run out of room... Drop it here, or set it there, make it float, that works too. <clears throat> okay, now to the actual helicopter. Standard design on the top, uh, wedges and blocks or squares, cubes, however you want to pronounce it, call it. Now let's get this thing out of the way. And as I said before, I'm not giving out this blueprint. You can make it with this tutorial. <clears throat> Unless it doesn't work again. As I've said, I'll make a new one. And in there, there is a goldfish. If I let you admire its beauty. <laughs> but, obviously you don't have to have the goldfish, but it's cool. So I thought I might as well throw it in there. Four standard seats for single player. Three super fuels. Throwing this out. And pause the video, as I said before, as you need. Because there's no way you'll be able to do this without pausing it. I wouldn't be able to. Four passenger seats, panels. Okay, here's the visor. The windshield, where it's supposed to be. Drop it there delicately. With... Okay, shattered it. That works too. Okay, standard seat to super engines. Okay, now with the feet or the, the crap, I don't know technical terms for the things that support the helicopter, the feet or the legs. I don't know, I'll post that in the description later. Then figure it out. There's a tail. And yes, it has to have those large propellers because the actual spinning propeller doesn't make it fly. Though I think it should. That would be freaking epic. Okay. Yep. Those are quite the propellers you got there. Okay. Now it's time for reassembly. I hope. Okay, let's put the... let's pick a different one. And honestly, I'm gonna start doing, uh... All tutorials for all my popular vehicles. So, if you're subscribed to me just for blueprints, you can probably unsubscribe. Because... Uh, it's been way too much for me. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I'm going to give you blueprints if you subscribe. I won't be able to. Only a few people have actually gotten blueprints. Like 8, 9, 7-ish. I have like the 50. And as I said, those holes or bars are key part right there. Okay, the guards won't spin out of control. Oh. And I do not use the small jets anymore, as you've seen, I use suck and blow, so that's what she said. So it goes a lot, so it spins a lot better, and just much more realistic in general. And I should be making more vehicles, ah, more videos faster, or 
more often. There we go. Okay, set that right there. Now that I look at it, I should make the propeller longer, but, man. And uh, there, it, there it goes. As you can see, it spins much faster. Yep. Like the spinning helicopter. Yeah, I never really thought out what I should say here, because this is indeed a voiceover. Yeah. You guys should join MegamanX9.com if there's any Mega Man fan fans out there. Pretty cool place. Show Capcom that we want Mega Man X9. <laughs> yeah, and... Stuff. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next time, and yeah, I'm just giving you inside look it up. Stormwind, see ya.